Folks, this is Tony Lee Glenn, and I want to do a systematic step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how to do or how to work with Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2014. So today is August 26, 2014, and I have my software up to date. Now I'm going to go to my start button uh, off the page here. I'm going to go to Adobe Premiere Pro CC. I'm going to go ahead and start the program. We're going to take the approach that you're a beginner and you've never used Adobe Premiere Pro CC before because it can be a little... Uh, confusing when you first start using it. So what first comes up here is uh, your new project uh, window. I'm going to go ahead and right now you can't see all of my screen. I'm going to I'm going to say uh, well let's start let's do a new project, and then I'll be able to pull some of my screen up here. Snag it's only catching 1080p of this. We're going to start our video by creating a new project. So I'm going to browse to where I want this video to go. This new project. And you see here I have a video that I did <laughs> last night. We're going to go away from that. And we're going to go down to Pre Premiere Pro CC 2014 Lesson. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to select this folder that I'm inside, which is Premiere Pro CC 2014 Lesson. This is just uh, this is just telling it where it's going to go. So I've just browsed to a, a folder, a location. I could have created a new folder if I like. But now I'm going to title this. I'm going to call this P-R-E-M-I-E-R Pro CC 2014 Lesson. So uh, what else are you seeing here? We're well, seeing HDV. You could go to DV, which would be your standard 720 by 480 video, your old school video, you know. Most of us now work with high definition video, which is at least 1080p or 1080i, sometimes 2.7K, sometimes up to 4K if you're using your GoPro Hero 3s now, which will shoot that and other cameras will as well. You also see this Mercury playback engine thing up here. You don't even have to pay attention to this right now. All this is saying is that your computer is or is not able to work in one of these different kinds of accelerated modes. What this is, is this is some kind of kind of hot rotted type of software engine or sometimes it's a hardware engine that will allow your computer to render the video out faster. So enough said on that, we're gonna go ahead and say, okay, we're going to the right place. We've got our, our project named, I'm gonna say, okay. So what's gonna happen, the project's gonna be built and I'm gonna pull, try to pull my Premiere Pro onto the screen here. It's gonna let me, oh, maybe it's going to let me hit up here. Oh, here we go, now. Now we're 100% inside of Snagit. We can see from the, the bottom to the top here. So if, you, if you've opened up your Premiere Pro CC, it might not look like mine. Uh, I'm gonna recommend for learning that you go to the old uh, setup. There is a new default that they've come up with, and you know, it's all right, I've used it some. I honestly think this is truly the best workspace you can work with. So if your screen does not look like this, go up to Window and click on this, and go to Workspace and go to Editing CS 5.5. This is the look that we've been using, most of us who've been editing with Premiere Pro for many years, this is the look that we've been using is the Editing CS 5.5. Then you should see something that looks like this. Now I'm gonna quickly describe what you're seeing here. You're seeing uh, the source area. If this is not highlighted, go ahead and highlight it. You might come up with effects on, but go ahead and do source. And you got your program. So what is that? Well, we'll talk about that just in a second. But right now you have a HDV uh, set up here. This is where all your media is going to go, all your, your photos, your videos. Uh, you can put, drop Adobe Illustrator files into this. Uh, you can put audio files of any sort, music files, voiceovers you've recorded and all. It all goes into here, and this is where you pull your media from so you can decide to edit it. So let's stop at this point, and our next little lesson will be how to bring media into this.